Hi, in this short video I show you a very simple way to animate your character in a top-down game like Among Us. Here I have an empty project and the blue character sprite, which you can get by the link in the description by the way. First of all I need to slice it to separate images. Set sprite mode to multiple and hit apply. Now I go to the sprite editor. Nice guy. I go to slice menu. I'm going to slice it in automatic mode, so I select it and hit slice button. My sprite sheet is sliced now. But here is one wrong piece of picture. I delete it. And expand this slice down to the bottom. Make sure the right edge of the slice is near enough to the sprite. That's good enough. Hit apply to save the changes. One important thing about sprite's pivot points. To make animation go correctly, I need to place this pivot point at the bottom of the sprites. Just like so. Same for the rest of the sprites. Another important thing here is to make sure that pivot point is positioned at the same place for each sprite. If those pivot points don't match, then animation will jitter. You will not have this problem if your sprites have the same width. But as you can see, sprite number 4 and sprite number 5 have different widths. That means that their pivot point should be shifted. So I shift those points a bit to the left. We will see if it's enough later when animation is created. Hit apply to save the changes. Here are my sprites. I take one and put it to the scene to create a character. Scale it down a bit. It's time to create animations. Make sure the character is selected and go to animation window. Click create new animation button. I save it into animation folder and name this first animation as idle anim. Animation name is important because this name will be used in the script. Ok. Take first sprite and drag and drop it to the timeline. Idle animation is done. Create new animation clip. This will be run animation. Name is important as well. Here I have to create a correct sequence of the sprites. I already know that sequence, so I just drag corresponding sprites into timeline in certain order. Like this. Hit play to check it out. If you think your animation plays too fast, you can slow it down by reducing sample rate here. Don't forget to hit enter. Cool. Now back to pivot point. As you can notice, the third sprite in sequence is shifted to the left a bit. That's because of the incorrect pivot point position of this particular sprite. Thankfully we can easily fix this. Select the sprite sheet, go to sprite editor, select the sprite we need to fix and shift the pivot point a bit in X axis. Hit apply. Check it out. Almost perfect now. Animations are ready. Now it's time to check the script that will make this all work. It's a pretty simple one. Here are some variables which are initialized in the start method. Local scale will help us to flip character left and right. In update, we read input from arrow buttons and perform animation control. In fixed update, we pass a velocity to rigid body depending on our input. And in late update, we face the character left or right depending on where he goes, altering his local scale by X axis. In animation control method, we play corresponding animations depending on velocity of the character. If X and Y velocity is zero, the idle animation is played. If either X or Y velocity isn't zero, then run animation is played. That's the script. Script goes to character. I hit play to see how it works and immediately get a bunch of errors which means that I forgot to add a rigid body to the component to the character. I do so and set gravity scale to zero, so my character will not fall down. Take 2. Works great. Hope you like this tutorial, thank you for watching and see you next time.